Welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll look at tension-only structures in SAP 2000. Well, we'll change the default unit to kilonewton and meters. Next, I'll go to the model and define our grids only. In this case, I will choose two grids in X, Y, and Z directions, and I'll keep the uh, grid spacing as the default, default parameters. Next, I'll choose our view plane to the X, Z plane. So next, I will define the members for the frame elements. So in this case, I'll import the members from the database of the SAP 2000. In this example, I'll choose from CIHC 10 database, which is the Canadian member sizes. So we'll choose a W section, which is cost sometimes called as also as I section for the columns. And for the bracings, I'll choose an L section, uh, which is an angle. Now, we have chosen our required uh, beam, column, and uh, bracing sections. Next, I will define the end uh, release this as pinned for each of the member and draw our frame as shown here. Now, we have a frame ready to analyze. I will define the base restraints for this frame. The base will be pinned for these analysis. Next, I will choose the bracings and assign compression only so that this will assign tension only parameters to the bracings. Next, I'll define a lateral load at this top left and a corner and assign the joint load as a lateral load and I'll choose the type of this load as live load. I will assign this lateral load in the global X direction. Next, I will choose our load case, which is lateral in this particular condition, and define the analysis type as nonlinear. In order to analyze the frame as a tension only member, the analysis type has to be nonlinear, such that so that we can see the tension results in the frame and the compression would be zero. In this load case, under the load applied, in addition to the lateral load, I'll also choose the dead load, such that when we're analyzing the structure under the load case of lateral, we'll also consider the dead load uh, attributes and also the, uh, the effects of the lateral load. So next, now we'll run the program and see the results. Next, I'll go to the frame results and select the show values in the diagram. Now, as you can see, the tension forces are positive and the compression is zero in these bracings. Thank you. That's it for the video today. If you like the video and if you like to see similar content in the future, please like and subscribe. Thank you.